Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you August 9th for the European Open. Kiwi got destroyed. RBNZ, dovish. It's a real shame. 11 p.m. Swiss time. I was literally just too tired to stay up. Um. I had my eye on this 6719 level. Uh, and looks like it'll be resistance the rest of the day. You see the big move down on the announcement. Uh, high of 17. Low of 63. Kiwi's on its way. Uh, will this spill over into Aussie? Which took out some shorts late yesterday on what I would call uh, an idiotic bar just summer stop run probably a good day to be short Aussie uh, but Kiwi has a story behind it this will be a sell on rally the rest of the day today you'll probably be able to sell some 95 figure I don't think we're going to get up to 15 today uh, let's see dollar yen Tricky yesterday, through the trend line, filled with joy when we were trading down at 83, but then we traded all the way back up to 20, I cut at 04, uh, but as dollar yen often does, confirmed on a daily close with a 93 close. And what are you gonna what are you gonna say here? Uh, looks like we're gonna we're starting a little bit of a downtrend here. Um, how or why? I don't know. But uh, 11060, 11070 important. Let's see, 11060 looks more important. But <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and argue with the European Open through 70 is gonna pay. As you can imagine, Euro Yen. Also traded lower, down to 50. Ironically, or serendipitously, or however you want to call it. That looks like a break trader's delight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 lows. Right around 128.50. Um, we're core short... Uh, from yesterday, we wore it all the way back up to 95 at the close, down to 82. New daily low today. Let's keep in mind uh, we're still summer markets, so we're not expecting like massive trend busting bars. But for some reason, people are buying yen. They're buying yen against sterling. As you saw yesterday with that whammo. New low today. Aussie less so. The dollar, yes. And now Euro. Take a look at Cad yet. What's going on there? Cad had kind of a spooky day yesterday. Raise your hand if you don't understand what's going on in Dollar Cad. Uh, let's just have a quick look. We made this new high to confirm the bearish, bullish engulfing, and then we had a very bearish day as oil was collapsing 3%. Uh, lordy, who knows? Could have been comments, NAFTA, no clue, dollar cad, staying away from that sucker. Anyway, back to yen. Uh, so our focus today. Uh, Core short euro yen, short dollar yen, uh, and then if we can add some other fun yen products, we will. Aussie yen kind of is of interest to me, but where and how Aussie yen, it's not super clear. That that chart's pretty crappy, pretty meaningless chart there. So let's stick to the charts that look the best, uh, dollar yen and euro yen. Let's take a look at the cryptos real quick. Uh, traded down to 61 and a quarter. Uh, as
as we said yesterday, we were not buyers here, uh, although 62s would have kind of pinged the low there if you did have your bid in, but we are not buyers yet. Well, we do think this is, you know, the SEC fooling around, not allowing this uh, ETF, whatever. ETFs on cryptos are coming. Um, they're already basically out there around the globe. Why the U.S. is is lagging on this, I don't know. Um, but we're gonna looks like we're gonna be testing this 5,000. And you have some choices down here. The the aggressive tactical traders are gonna get short through these lows in order to get long, which is a bit complicated, I know. But you kind of sell 5,800s with the idea you're going to buy 5100s, 4500s, 3500s, 3100s on whatever puke bar there is. Do not, I repeat, do not trade this way if you're not a seasoned trader, if you don't have proper liquidity, if you're using some gumbo joker broker from like Cyprus, do not do this. Um, Make sure your ducks are in a row and you know and understand the liquidity of this market if you're going to tactically trade it. If you're just going to buy it, uh, which is sort of what I suggest, you just want to have your bids in 45, 35, 2500, or 51, 41, 3100. And these are kind of, uh, I hope this happens and I hope this doesn't happen kind of bids. Obviously, if we go down to 3,100 and we could sit down there for months, uh, this would be painful to a lot of people. It would be less painful for privateer because we, we kind of thought this might happen. Um, won't be great because we have a lot of opportunity cost P&L that will be thrown away, but we're quite prepared um, to sit between 25 and 4,500 for a few months let everyone give up on this uh, before we turn higher again. So, what can I say? Plan it out. Write it down, what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, all of the little details. Liquidity and timing in, in cryptos is part of the trade, much less than in FX where you know what the, your, liquidity, your liquidity is, you know what your timing is. Uh, you know what the depth of the market's going to be. Cryptos, uh, you don't know. So, you know, think about it deeply. We have some uh, some retail brokers here in Switzerland who won't let you have crypto over the weekend. All kinds of weird rules for crypto trading. So plan it out uh, carefully, people. Um, but there's going there's going to be some money to be made here. So uh, let's keep an eye on that. What else? Uh, not too much else out there. I got a feeling this uh, dollar czar is going to pop. But it's kind of up, down, up, down, up, down the last few days. We really need to clear 63. But if ES does turn, which could easily turn, right? I mean, we're all buying yen. Kiwi got crushed. Oil's down 3%. Valuations are too high. Apple's at a trillion. I don't think Apple's going to stay up here for too long. This red bar here is pretty... pretty silly. Bearish from golfing at the high. I didn't see that. Anyway, um, there's plenty of reasons uh, for equities to go down. There's also reasons for them to go up. Let's wait for confirmation on the bars. We got a very small bar uh, yesterday. Today we've already made a lower low, barely. And now we're just sitting around sort of mid-range. But keep an eye on this. Keep an eye on this and, and uh, we'll see how we go. All right, I said enough uh, dollar yen, euro yen, our horses today in the FX market will be watching.
watching these equities and but no trade as of now and maybe Aussie yen good luck out there people talk to you later ciao